Okay, so here is the 3D Chameleon kit. Uh, you will receive it in a post office uh, small flat rate box like this. And inside here, you're going to find basically three bags. The first one is the PTFE tube, and it's going to contain two meters of tube. The second one is uh, what we call the standard hardware kit. This is a hardware kit that's common to all of the 3D chameleons, no matter which machine you get. Um, so uh, when you go through here, you're going to find that there are parts in here that you don't necessarily use on your, your printer, uh, but that's okay. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, most of the important parts you are going to use. Um, and then lastly, we're going to find the actual printer kit itself. This is unique to each type of printer, uh, whether you have the Flash Forge or the Creality or the Prusas. Um, this is going to be specific to your machine. So let's move the box out of the way and let's take a look and see what we have in each one of these. Uh, so let's start off with the uh, hardware kit uh, for our specific machine kit. This is the printed parts kit. Inside here we have uh, two of the filament feed tubes. Uh, so these are actually going to be mounted to the top of the printer. And we're going to insert some PTFE tube here, screw some connectors into the end and uh, screw some of the uh, T-nuts onto the back. Uh, we're going to uh, look at the, uh, uh, this is the extruder arm, um, the assembly itself, it has the Y-splitter. Uh, so this is for the Creality 2 color. Uh, if you were using the Creality 5 color, there would be five inputs right here. And um, this is just going to bolt up using five uh, mounting points here. Uh, the three uh, here, here, and here are actually from the original extruder. Uh, in fact, the arm that's going to be there, we're going to replace this screw with one of them from the hardware kit. Um, this is going to screw down into the, uh, the uh, brass nut for the Z-Rod. Uh, this actually has a couple modifications from the original um, part. So this, the original part, it was off Thingiverse. It allows for flexible filaments on the CR-10s um, or any of the other Creality machines. I modified this shape here to uh, allow for uh, the capture of the filament a little bit better, plus I put threaded uh, inserts into the ends here uh, so that you can actually screw in the uh, brass or the uh, PTFE couplers. The next part we'll find inside here is the connector or the uh, uh, what we call the friction arm. Uh, this is going to connect right to the top of the extruder uh, hot end. Uh, this is basically going to screw into the fan cover. Uh, again, we have some extra screws in the kit there to allow for this to be installed. Uh, we also have a spot here for the friction pad. Uh, we'll show you the friction pad in just a second here. you will cut off a small section of that, attach it to there, and that's what's going to be used to actually uh, drive the filament. The last thing that we have inside of the bag is uh, all of the small T-nuts. Uh, so these are just a bunch of random collection uh, printed T-nuts. Uh, these are designed for the 3 millimeter nuts that, that are in the hardware kit. Uh, you'll press fit those into there, and then you'll screw uh, each uh, two of these onto each one of these arm here, so here and here. You'll do the same thing for the other one. And then uh, that'll slide into the top rail, the 2020 rail of the, uh, uh, the printer. This one is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a two-meter length of tubing. Um, so. And then this next one has all of the hardware kit. Again, this is not specific to your machine, so don't be alarmed if there's hardware in here that you don't use. So we have a collection of two different size zip ties. Uh, so we have the small zip tie. The small zip ties are typically going to be used to just bundle the PTFE tube and only in a couple points where you want it. You don't want to use too many because too many zip ties can actually constrict the PTFE tube and actually cause it to work uh, a lot less efficiently. Uh, so only if you are included. Uh, and then we have a little bit uh, larger ones here. Now, these are designed to actually attach it or affix your PTFE tubes to other things. Uh, so, um, and again, we only have a few there. We really don't need many for this particular kit. We have a uh, small bag of loose uh, screws and nuts and one piece of PTFE tube. Now, you want to be careful with this PTFE tube. This is very, very uh, important that you understand that this is not the standard PTFE tube that's in the rest of the kit. This particular piece of PTFE tube is designed solely for the extruders uh, to go inside of the extruder. And um, the reason it's done this way is because 
The standard PTFE tube has an inner diameter of two millimeters, uh, which allows for a little bit of uh, um, loose fitness uh, fitting, fitting of the filament going through here. However, uh, in order for this to function correctly, we need to make sure that our filament tip is uh, shaped correctly and it is not too large. PTFE um, liners are actually included inside of the hot end of the creality, but it's a standard two millimeter uh, tube. What we need to do is we need to constrict that a little bit because PLA filament, when it cools, tends to swell. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert this into the hot end and we're going to pull the tip of the PLA filament into the middle of this section here and allow it to cool in this 1.8 millimeter constricted zone. Um, that 1.8 millimeter constriction will allow it to cool and harden, solidify into that smaller uh, space, which will then pull out and allow it to be uh, a much looser fit through the rest of the entire system. So we don't want it to get jammed, specifically coming into here, for example. Uh, if it comes into here and it can't make it straight into here, it's going to cause a, a problem. Um, so this PTFE tube is, is a special piece of 1.8 millimeter in uh, inner diameter filament, or I mean a PTFE tube, to constrict that. Now, uh, we've also modified it slightly in that the input end of it is actually a larger. It's about 2.25 millimeter input on the in, on one end and 1.8 millimeters on the outside. So you want to be very careful when you're inserting this. This is going to go with this uh, opening, the larger opening at the top, and the smaller opening is going to be at the bottom. Now, on the Creality machines, you generally won't use this much. We might have to cut off uh, about 10 millimeters of it here or so down here at the bottom. Uh, but once you take apart your printer, you'll see just how much you need. Um, so it's pretty easy to install. Um, so again, the, the wide mouth is going to be at the top. And what this basically is doing is it's acting as a funnel for the filament coming in from the 2 millimeter uh, rest of the tube that's actually included with the printer already. So your Bowden tube comes in. We'll cut off about uh, 15 or 20 millimeters off the bottom of it, and we'll replace it with 15 or 20 millimeters of, of this tube, making sure we keep the uh, large opening we cut off the small opening. The other things that are included in this bag are simple 8 uh, millimeter M3 screws. We've got some 16 millimeter M3 screws and a bunch of nuts. Um, so we'll, we'll use those. Back to our hardware kit. Some of the other things that you'll find inside here are... Just go ahead and grab it all out here. Here are our friction pads. So in this case, our friction pad is a ceramic coated um, rough surface like a sandpaper, but it's a ceramic coated so it doesn't wear down. And on the back side of it is a, uh, a piece of um, double-sided tape, if you will, that is a very, very uh, high bonding strength material. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut a small section of this off and we're going to place that right on the tip there. Um, so you see you have enough here for about three or four different uh, pieces of this material. Um, so far in all of our testing, we've never actually worn down the first one. So it might be that these things last quite a while. We don't know, but we decided to include a few extra pieces just in case. Um, you can use standard uh, heavy-duty scissors to cut this, by the way. The next thing that you'll find inside of here are your PTFE couplers. There are six of them for a two-color chameleon. We have uh, two that are going to go on the openings of here, and you can see as I, I do this, these simply just screw into place here. So there is a uh, threaded insert right in there. Again, we'll do the same thing for that one. And that's all there is to doing that. So we have... Uh, our coupler's already there, and we're going to do the same thing here, but um, on these, once we screw these in, uh, we, we want to be careful with this. We'll screw one in on either side, on one side, but we'll leave the other side open. We can, we can put it in, but we need to put our PTFE tube in there. And our PTFE tube is actually going to go all the way through, and it's going to stop up against this end. And once we cut it to length, we'll put this one in, in to actually capture it in there uh, before we trim it to open it up here. So we're going to actually have one of these connectors on either end of this uh, like that. So that's all there is for the hardware kits. Let's go ahead and set it all up and uh, get it ready to go. Oh, you know what? I forgot one thing. 
there is actually a small razor blade in here. And in fact, be very careful with this. There isn't just one razor blade. There's actually two. Once I open this up, if I can get it open. <laughs> well, there's a piece of tape holding it closed. And that's for a very good reason. If I just tear this open, you will see that there is a small blade inside of here on top of the large blade. So the large blade is actually going to be used to cut the PTFE tube. Um, this is a sharp blade, obviously it's a razor blade, um, but we want to make sure we do this correctly and cut it straight down through so that we have a, a nice clean straight edge. Um, a brand new razor blade actually is the best ideal solution for that. So this smaller blade in here is actually a blade that we're going to use um, possibly later on in the future in a, in a, in a modification to this. Um, if we find that there's a lot of filaments that, that actually don't work well with this setup, um, I've got a design for a holder and a basically a replacement for this that has an opening here that allows this blade to come in here and actually to slice off the filament. Uh, so for example, if you have a filament that's very, very stringy, and uh, as it pulls out of the uh, Bowden tube, it leaves a long string on it. We want to trim those off. We don't want that to actually come out here and get tangled up inside of the gear drive mechanism. Uh, so I designed this as a backup system. We'll, we'll get your feedback, uh, see how it works. If we need it, we'll go ahead and install it. If not, we won't. Uh, but I included the blades just in case. Everything else is simply going to be a printed piece, and you already have enough parts in the bag here to uh, install it. Okay, so that's all there is to uh, the parts for the uh, Creality version of the uh, Chameleon Color Changer. Let's go ahead and install it on our printer.